Hello everyone and welcome to another Indie Game Spotlight video. This time we're going to be taking a look at Black Fawn. We got a chance to chat it up with some of the creators of Black Farm a few weeks back. G Cube live at PAX East 2015. We are here with Wild Gas. What can you guys tell me about Black Fawn? So Black Fawn is an action RPG. It uh, plays kind of a mix, like a mix between uh, Diablo and The Binding of Isaac. So it's a uh, it's WASD movement. Uh, left left click shoots and right click is a uh, force push. So the enemies are all really fast. It plays like kind of arcadey. Um, it's uh, it's really it's really fast. It's high high skill, high intensity. It's supposed to be very challenging. Um, everything's procedurally generated. The enemies, the levels, the uh, items you get. So it's all random. Each playthrough is different. Um, it's supposed to be about an hour, hour and a half long playthrough each time. And uh, it's a roguelike. So when you die, you're dead. And then uh, yeah. So when is this going to be available for everybody else to play? So we're aiming for uh, end of this year. Uh, that's our best guess. Everything takes longer than you think it will, but that's our that's what we're going to try for. Can't wait to get my hands on it, guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, we'll do pound. Yeah. <laughs> so at first glance, Black Fawn may look like your average top-down Diablo clone, and for good reason. Black Fawn lures you in with its familiar controls and playstyle, but then you realize that death is permanent, and the entire game is randomly generated, all the way down to the bosses. Then you throw in the increasingly challenging enemies and loot system, and you find yourself playing an amazingly unique dungeon crawler with an almost arcadey Ikaruka feel to it. So if you've been eyeballing this one, then I encourage you to go download the demo and give it a try.